Ahoy, my friends, Ryder here, and welcome back to another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. The day has finally arrived, and it's not just for all of you huge Tifa fans out there. Like I've said at the beginning, and like we've observed for many months in Ever Crisis, typically the last banner for a anniversary or crossover is typically the best one now it does look like today that is the case before we get into all the notices the new shop review and just basically checking out everything that has dropped in the game for me guys i'm super excited like there wasn't any news on monday i've just been feeling a little stagnant and so i've been really excited for this to basically drop today but before i get into that guys i have a big announcement for my channel I have officially released memberships for my channel. There have been some of you guys out there that have asked me if I had a Patreon or something like that, you know, a way that you can support this channel, you know, me kind of being an Ever Crisis content creator, but then also other games like that. So I'm going to put a link in the description for my memberships. For those of you guys that are interested, please give it a chance, check it out. And if you want to, support me doing what I love to do. I would really appreciate it with all my heart. There are three tiers for, this, uh, for the membership and each one comes with its own little mini perks and stuff like that, including like, you know, gameplay with me and all kinds of other stuff. So anyway, that being said, I hope you guys check it out. Thank you to all of you guys who support me and all of you who already do. Thank you guys so much. All right, so that being said, let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna jump into the notices. And it looks like there's probably going to be a lot. All right, so let's see right here. Coming soon, Shiva and Ramu have arrived. Wait a second, this is a little confusing. Coming soon, Shiva and Ramu have arrived. Kind of a bit strange right there. All right, so I'm just going to... Actually, let's just go back. We'll start at the bottom. We'll start at the bottom. All right, so let's see here. September 25th, September 25th. All right, so... There was a little bit of news. I didn't make a video on it just because it was so small, but it does look like we have had some new weapons added to the exchange. The first is the Citric Wand, also Blue Bramble, Hugin, and Moonin. This is a great one for Vincent. I'm definitely going to be wishlisting this. And then Nightjar for Lucia. So that is nice that those weapons are now officially uh, in the wishlist and the exchange. All right, extension of certain event and campaign periods. All right. Due to the popularity of first anniversary events and campaigns, certain events and campaign duration periods will be extended. Due to the popularity, uh, honestly, Senor Applebot, like, I think <laughs> it is an awesome, it is an awesome uh, anniversary for sure. But I would say more so in the line of like banners. The the events I feel like have been a little bit slow, to be honest, to the point where I, I sometimes I wonder. You know, if we, if, I would wonder if we're in the anniversary if it weren't for all these banners. All right, so extended event, first anniversary event, the Cetra story, birth of the destroyer, uh, campaign, first anniversary panel missions, first anniversary weapon enhancement, login bonus, and the co op battle, Ifrit and Bahamut slash Shiva. So it will be extended until October 16th. All right, so that was unexpected. All right, guys, so this is a big one for the day. Guild battle number three, in which it is the first time that mock and live battles should be in sync. So hopefully uh, they came through on that. They did say that they would be, you know, like this. All right, we are going to be fighting Bahamut. I will be making a video, uh, just kind of an overview of this once I get the chime. There's a bunch of videos to do currently at the moment, so guys, just bear with me. All right, so the damage inflicted upon each boss will be shared, blah, 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 blah. We already know all this. I'm curious who the, like, bonus uh, uh, members are right now. I'm going to raise the volume of the of the background here just a bit right here. Maybe not quite that much. All right, let's see here. It doesn't actually say which characters are focused for the backup weapons. Non-elemental is effective against Bahamut. Okay. Uh, looks like the more remaining in the force gauge mega flare charge that the boss uses, the more defense is boosted. Okay, when the force gauge is activated and the countdown progresses, a strong resistance against elements other than non-elemental is developed. In addition, the less remaining in the force gauge at the end of the countdown, the more powerful the subsequent abilities will be. Since the force gauge is reduced only by non-elemental abilities, they are the most effective. Also, since powerful magic attacks are being used, magic attack down and magic defense up are also effective, 
In addition, by setting additional equipment and increasing ability potency, even more damage can be afflicted. All right, so I'll take a second to look at that later on. Going into the new event, hoping for EX4, not just EX3. I'm hoping for EX4 Bahamut Alba. I feel like that would be really fun. All right, so we got some blue crystals and a five-star weapon ticket. Uh, greater power branding stones and greater magic branding stones can be obtained as first clear rewards. That's great to see. All right, but literally, is there no mention of an EX3? If there's no EX3 Bahamut Alba, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> All right, so... Here's the Tifa Limit Break draw. I know this is a huge one for so many of you guys out there. I love her hair, honestly. She looks great right here. Let's be real. All right, so Tifa Limit Break draw is on now. In this draw, the appearance rate of the featured Limit Break weapon is 1.5 times. Thank you. Very happy to see that again. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. In this draw, new Limit Break weapon and new Tifa exclusive gear will be available. Exclusive. Exclusive gear will be available, and a new Kate Sith exclusive ultimate weapon HP shout will be featured. Since the featured ultimate weapon will be switched, the ultimate weapon Genji Blade will now appear with its usual appearance rate, which is freaking like astronomically small, guys. However, in consideration that some players have been expecting to receive Mako Gem Genji Blade in the Tifa Limit Break draw, we have decided to make the Mako Gem first anniversary available as a bonus when a 10 draw is performed. Mako Gem First Anniversary is a limited edition first anniversary Mako Gem that can be exchanged for the Mako Gem Genji Blade or HP Shout. Are they going to be on the same gems? If they're on the same gems, I literally have the pity for Kate Sith's weapon right now, which would be absolutely crazy. We'll have to check that out here in a second, guys. All right. I'm just going to keep on go down. All right, so for those of you guys that saw my little data mine sneak peek, you have seen the, these weapons and you know how freaking insane they are. I'm just going to briefly touch on them. So Tifa's weapons is called Bahamut Fangs, Command Ability Dark Strike, inflicts up to 1100% non-elemental magic damage upon a single enemy and increases all allies' magic attacks, stackable to a drastic increase. This one we're going to have to check out today. Plus grants haste to the caster on first use. Super good, guys. Honestly, so good. Now, like I was saying, Cloud is OP, in my opinion. This is OP to another level. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it so, so super clear why it's like that. Cloud's weapon is OP because of the flat damage that comes with his ability, right? However, there are shields in the game that reduce that damage, right? So all Applebot has to do is just put that shield on the enemy, and it takes out a major significant portion of Cloud's potency there. Whereas this right here, I feel like has more sustainable long-term use. I think it's just going to be absolutely great, depending on how good this magic attack is. But magic attack to all allies on a DPS, pretty dang good, guys. All right, then we have the Bahamut suit, uh, boost attack all allies, physical and magic attack. Also Bahamut's whisper, boost magic attack, also boost magic ability damage when attack stance command gauges at max. Super, super good, right? Then we have HP shout. This inflicts up to 1,000% non-elemental magic and physical damage upon a single enemy with two casts and grants haste to all allies. Now, this weapon by itself, insanely good. However, the fact that it's on Kate Sith makes it a tiny bit troublesome because, you know, not everyone has him built. He doesn't have as much range as other characters. So, you know, I think that... In order to entice people to pull for a Kate Sith ultimate weapon, it has to be insanely good, right? So it makes sense that it is what it is. But for those of you guys that do pull it and have Kate Sith built, it's going to be, I mean, it's absolutely insane, right? All right, the new R ability, Interruption ATB Acceleration, boosts all allies ATB when interrupting enemies. Also freaking crazy good, guys. Now, I know that when we break a sigil, we get an ATB boost anyway, but still, I think this basically guarantees that you're gonna base, you're gonna max all your ATB no matter what right at the sigil break, which I think is just absolutely great. All right, so let's see here. In this draw, you can obtain Mako Gem first anniversary as a bonus when performing a 10 draw. Exchange Mako Gem's first anniversary for Mako Gem Genji Blade or Mako Gem HP Shout. Um, honestly, super, super cool. I feel like, I wonder if I can go exchange for this HP shout right now. I'm going to try it in this video. All right, so let's go back out. We have still a lot of stuff to look at. All right, so first anniversary limit break draw Tifa on now. This is one of those 3K uh, single time draws. 
And I'm going to, you know, I, I never really go for these. I'm going to explain to you guys really quick when I think the, the only really viable time to actually pull this would be, right? So let's say you're pulling for the weapon on the banner, right? If I'm pulling through the first and second stamp card, okay? Let's say I'm going for, you know, OB6, right? Let's say I pull the first and second stamp card, I get no luck, right? And I hit OB3, right? So because you're going to get four copies in total. I think that before you go into the EX card, I think your next move, right? Because obviously this is paid crystals, would be to get the two 5k weapon packs for the weapon itself, right? So if that doesn't get you to OB6, then I would say that doing this pull before going into the EX cards, that would be the only viable time to actually do this, right? I do not think that this is anywhere near as good of a deal as the actual 5k guaranteed weapon packs as this is 3k which is 60% of the cost and it doesn't even give you a 20% chance at getting the weapon it's 19.94% so that's a quick breakdown on that all right it does look like the crystal boost packs have returned that's insane that's absolutely insane the fact that they came back to back like this is is totally crazy guys super 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 crazy all right now we have the very confusing shiva and ramu arriving soon but yet they have also arrived at the exact same time so uh as of october 2nd the double summon shiva and ramu will be added oh whoa double summon honestly honestly guys i think applebot is dropping the ball by by chasing all these double summons we have so many elements yet to be explored we need new summons it just feels lazy on their part i know that some japanese players have written letters to square enix so hopefully they hear us i know this is going to be fun and i'm excited to play it but it just feels like they're just recycling 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 all right so that is going to conclude notices all right first things first let's jump in and check the mission campaigns let's see what we got here all right, we have nothing here, and I still need to clear one battle with Tifa. Okay, I'm going to jump into the shop, and I'm guessing there's going to be a Tifa version of whatever there is here. So it does look like, there you go, the, th the, the triple crystal boost pack is back. All right, and then we have the Tifa shop right here, okay, where you can get uh, the 3k pack for 100 parks. So parts, parks, parts. All right, so I have 291, so I might grab one of those. We'll see. Um, but essentially this is just going to be the exact same thing as all of the other characters that have had these so far. All right. Now that being said, I haven't actually, I would, I think I would have to actually beat the event to see if EX3 is unlocked. All right. So let's jump into here. I'm pretty sure that it's not going to show me. Okay. Thank God. EX3 is here. All right. So I can't wait to play that at some point in time here in the future. Now, at the end of this video, I want to jump in and ooh, let's do uh, let's do one of these. Let's do one of these and see and see how my luck is right now um, on my free pull of the day. All right, so I'm not gonna make you guys walk or what? Hey, 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 let's go. Let's see. One. Okay, I'll take it. Red thirteen, silver collar, ivy collar. I'll take either of those and leather collar canyon collar oh i'll actually take that was actually going to be my third choice all right cool all right so here we go wow guys have you ever seen so many limit break banners all at once that's 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 pretty freaking crazy not gonna lie all right so let's go in here let's check this out i might do some pulls you know just like a couple uh which has been my kind of go to so far on these anniversary videos all right so let's see here where is it magic attack is increased potency all allies it looks like mid max potency mid wow she doesn't her her uh her description doesn't even fit in the box guys that's how much is going on here all right so at base five star it's mid to all allies max potency mid ob6 mid to high and it's a thousand percent at mid to high at, i mean at ob6 that's freaking crazy and then ob10 only goes up 
100% and it's still mid to high. So wow, guys, OB6 is really good for this weapon. Um, then we have X Sigil Break right here. Uh, all in all, looking pretty freaking crazy, guys. Honestly, it's it's looking really good. Uh, the costume is really cool right here. I can't wait to like really jump into this really quick. But before we do that, let's go over. Let's go to the Mako Gem Exchange. Let's see if my saved up Hitty Metals. Ah, uh, I knew it, guys. I knew it. They're, they're separate gems. They're separate gems. Which makes sense, guys. It makes sense. I, I'm a little bit bummed. I thought that I was going to have this, like, right now. But it is what it is. It is what it is, all right? Um, what is this? Okay. Mako Gem HP Shout. Um, I literally don't know what this is. Mako Gem First Anniversary. So, oh, I guess... You can convert it into whichever one you want. Let's do a couple pulls. I'm going to do a couple pulls in the spirit of the video. I just want to make sure that I have my right uh, my right wish list right here. All right, so I have Syringe Rapier, Silver Collar. Um, what the heck is this? Oh, Ivy Collar, Shark Slayer, and SSR. All right, so I'll go into here and basically let's make it more or less the same thing. I think for... I think I'm actually going to put in Hugen and Mugen. Hugen and Mugen? I don't even know what that weapon is called. Where is it? Is it right here? There it is. All right, so we're going to go with that one. In the last slot, I'm going to put the SSR. I just need one copy of that. All right, and then I think we had two Red 13 weapons, right? We had the Silver Collar, and then we had the Ivy Collar. All right, and then in my last slot, I think I was going for the Barret Shark Slayer right here. All right, so that's going to be my wish list. Um, I'm just going to do maybe one to three pulls, just depending, guys, just for fun. All right, so let's just see how it goes right here. All right, of course, it's a yellow chocobo. The yellow chocobos are my best friend. Of course, it's a one stamp. All right, uh, I mean, it just has to be. All right, so let's see. I, I don't really mind the one stamp if we get some decent luck on the banner itself for the weapons. All right, so... I'm going to let Cloud run this one out, all right? I want to see if he's, like, in the headspace right now to be, like, really going for this. But I'll tell you guys right now, I am definitely going to be taking Tifa's weapon to OB6. It looks really freaking insane. All right, so here we go. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We could still get all 10 five-star weapons i know it's possible i know that some of you guys say it's never gonna happen oh my god what what that's absolutely freaking insane guys that is insane what the heck? did that actually just happen i i cannot believe that that is like insane. Wow. What? Ugh. Whoa. Holy smokes, guys. All right. So that is the first one right there. I, I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. All right. So we're going to go for a second pull. That was the crazy. That was not what I was expecting, guys. That was literally not what I was expecting whatsoever. All right. So that was the second pull. Two stamps. Not bad. I think I'll do like maybe one more pull after this. All right. Let's see what we got. I'm going to have him look that way. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, Vincent. Is that Hugin and Mugen? I don't think I have that yet. I think that's it. Let's go. I like how it put him in the costume that it actually came out with. Sick. Looking good, guys. I'm liking this luck so far. I will take that right now. All right, I'm going to do one more for the video, okay? And we'll see how it goes right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I knew it was going to be a one. I, I just knew it was going to be a one. Somehow I knew. All right, it's a five-star or higher guaranteed. Hopefully we'll get our first copy of Tifa's weapon right now, which would be pretty dang awesome. All right, so here we go. Cloud's going to walk out. All right, I'll have him look that way this time. 
Come on, 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 come on. Is that it? Is that it? There we have it, guys. Hadouken! Alright, sick. So there's my first copy. I think I'm just going to hold off from here for now. Um, I'd like to actually make a pulling video for this one instead of just like going ham right now, even though I'm pretty amped at the moment. Alright, so that being said, guys, that was a really fun video. A lot of stuff to cover. Uh, I'm honestly pretty excited. Completely mind blown about the fact that I just got Kate Sith's ultimate on my literally my first pull in my literal first slot. So that's just mind-blowingly crazy. I wish you guys the best of luck that are pulling on this banner. If you guys are waiting to hear a more in-depth review on the banner itself, I will be putting that out tomorrow morning. So I hope you guys are eager to check that out. That being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys thought that that poll was the absolute mega poll of the year, please don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe for more Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis content. I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Peace.